Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to calculate confidence interval limits. Number of research scholars, they always ask how we are going to calculate confidence interval limits when we are going to apply any sort of test, either t-test, z-test. So at the time we are trying to find out what is the confidence interval limit. So first of all, we would understand what do you mean by confidence interval. A confidence interval is a range of values within which the population parameter is expected to occur. So there is two confidence interval that are used extensively and across the world people are using, researchers are using most frequently. These are 95% and 99%. And the upper and lower limits for a confidence interval is given by these this particular formula. And we are going to use this particular formula. We can see here x, x plus and minus z s divided by under root m. X stands for sample mean. This one is the sample mean, whatever the sample we had collected out of this particular population that would be mean of that sample that is known as sample mean. Next is z, critical value obtained from table. That is the obtained critical value from table, table, z table is already provided. Then we come to the s, s stands for standard deviation and n stands for sample size. So we could understand with the help of this bell-shaped normally distributed curve, we can see here, these are the three areas, 68% of the data, 95% of the data, and 99.7% of the data. So we can see here, these are the values. We can see here, 68%, that is plus right side, this is the plus values, and these are the minus values. And after that 95%, that is mu minus 2 standard deviation, mu plus 2 sigma means the standard deviation. So you can see these are the limits. And after that, 99.7% of the data, mu minus 3 mu and mu plus 3 sigma, mu minus 3 sigma. So we are going to apply how we are going to calculate this confidence interval. We can see here. Let me, let, I will reduce this size just a moment. Yeah, now it's all right. So now you can see the dean of a business school wants to estimate the mean number of hours worked per week by students. A sample of 49 students showed a mean of 24 hours. That is the mean value right 24 hours but that is by col sample collected of how many students 49 students with the standard deviation what is sigma 4 that is 4 hours so develop a 95 percent confidence interval for the population mean so what we have to do 24 this is our x means our sample mean as i have defined x means sample mean so we had put the values 24, then the plus minus sign z value 1.96 from where we have taken this critical value 1.96. I had already explained you in my this, uh, this table. I'm just showing you this table. Yes, this is the table. I have already shown you 0 0.95, right? This is the value 1.96. If suppose you are taking this one is the 0 0.98 the value would be 2.3, 0 0.90 value will be 1.645, means 90% confidence interval, 75%, 98%, and 99%. So table value is 1.960. So simply, we are going to apply this value. Now you can see, I had put it, this value 1.964 means your standard deviation. S stands for, as I said, this one is the critical value. S stands for standard deviation and same is I had applied 4. 4 means that is the standard deviation is already given here. And divided by under root 49. N means 49. Here is in my this question 49 N is given. So we are going to solve this 24 
sample size because standard deviation means here is 24 that is mean mean means we we have got this value mean we have got this value right means 24 24 then after that what we have to do towards this we can see whatever is the plus and minus right so here is plus and minus this is the value is calculated by this formula so here is plus means 1.12 minus means 1.12 so we will now the confidence limit is we will add on this thing 24 plus 1.12 and 24 minus 1.12. So now final value means 22.88 and 25.12. So these are my confidence interval limits. With the help of this formula, we had calculated confidence interval limits. So this is my mean value, right, of the sample. Sample was 49 students and mean is mean working hours are 24 hours, standard deviation is 4 hours and at the 95% confidence interval level, we can see here Z value, table value is 1.96, 1.96, just taking 1.96. So this value we had applied here. 4 by under root 49 and finally we can see confidence limit is 22.88 and 25.1. So I'm sure this difference of confidence interval limits how we are going to calculate what is the meaning of 99% what is the meaning of 95% what is the meaning of 90% confidence interval you understand and you could be able to put all the values in this formula and after that you're going to calculate confidence interval limits so i'm sure this video would be helpful thank you and keep watching